Hey guys, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com and yes, behind me I've got a bunch of red light therapy panels. I've got the Infrared Flex Max, the 2022 version that's not running. I've got the Mito Red Mito Pro 1500, that's the 300 LED wall body panel. Uh, on my left I have the Infrared Flex uh, Mini, that's the small, I think it's 60 LED. And then I've got the Biomax 300, Platinum LED Biomax 300. An assortment of panels from a variety of companies. The big difference between my left and right, of course, is the size. These big ones are, uh, on, the, on the back here, 200, 250, 300 LEDs. Typically you hang them on my left here. Smaller, what I call tabletop panels. Typically come with a built-in stand or you can buy a stand accessory. Targeted approach, you know, more, obviously it's a lot smaller, so it's uh, more of a targeted treatment area, where these ones, a lot larger. Of course, that is the big difference, but there's also some other differences you should know. Uh, if you're looking at either a tabletop panel or, or a body wall panel. So what I'm gonna do in this video is outline those key differences and hopefully answer some questions that I typically get. Uh, and in turn, if you're you know, in the market for a smaller panel, you may find that actually a big one is, is more suited to your needs or vice versa. Or this video may just reinforce that, um, yes, you are gonna make the right decision. So when it comes to buying a red light therapy panel, it can be a little bit overwhelming. There are so many companies out there, uh, different wavelengths, different, different features, pulsing, all these crazy things. Then you've got different sizes. Uh, some companies have multiple product lines, such as the Platinum LED, you have their Biomax range and then their Bio range. It, it can be quite overwhelming. I mean, here on this channel, I do a lot of reviews and comparisons and hopefully I can sort the wheat from the chaff, so to speak, so you can find what's best. But a big deciding factor is how big or small should you go. Now, in the past, I've typically used and recommended and reviewed what I class as body panels. Though, I'm now finding that they're not really a body panel because yeah, you really need three or four of them to cover a whole body, but I've covered that in other videos. But yeah, typically I refer to a panel that has about 150 to 300 LEDs as a body panel. These smaller panels I call tabletop panels because yeah, you can use them on a table. However, you can also use these as a wall panel or even as a body panel. Uh, just because they're smaller and they come with a stand doesn't mean you can't use them to treat your knee or to treat the whole body. It's just, of course, going to take a lot longer because you need to treat a certain area of the body, then the next area, and move on, right? Whereas something like that, you get a lot more coverage. It's obvious. I mean, I don't really need to go into it, but just remember, if you're trying to treat a sore elbow and a sore knee, and you're also trying to get the skin benefits from red light therapy, you need to shine that light on those areas. Yes, there are some systemic effects, meaning like you shine it on your chest, the whole body will improve in some way. Yes, you do get a bit of that, but typically you need to spot treat, target treat uh, the problematic areas or the areas you're trying to improve. So let me make this uh, easy for you from the get go. If you're just coming into this and you just want to treat your face, you know, wrinkles, acne, then a tabletop panel may seem like the ob obvious decision. However, as we already know, the full body panels are also gonna treat your face, right? So really it may come down to budget or space constraints. Uh, do you have room to hang a large panel or do you just wanna use something small that you can sit on your desk and put away when you're not using it? There's lots of things to consider here. Now, you also need to think ahead. Sure, you may have a problematic, I don't know, like jaw that you're trying to heal or that sore shoulder that you're trying to heal and you think, look, something small like the Infrared Mini here is all I need. It's all I need, right? It does everything I want. However, you never know. In a year's time, two years time, you may decide, look, you want to treat the whole body. Whereas something like the Infrared Flex Max is going to do a much better job of that. So don't rush into a decision. Uh, I highly recommend you, you watch all of this video because I have quite a few notes and quite a few things to compare uh, against these two types of panels. Now, before I continue, I should mention that most companies offer a range of sizes within their um, panel lineup. So if we look at them for Eddie, they have their full body Max over there. They also do the smaller version, right? Their Mini. Biomax do their Biomax 300. They also go right up to a 900, which has 300 LEDs. Mito Red, Mito Pro, 1500 behind me there, 300 LEDs. They also do a smaller, I think it's a 100, 
LED panel, they also go down to handheld panels. So what I'm saying is, if there's a company you re really like, chances are they'll have the product or panel in uh, the size you want. Okay, so we've looked at size to begin with, uh, but let's dive into this a little bit more. As I mentioned, LEDs on a body panel, 150 to 300 thereabouts. The smaller ones, anything from say 50 to 150, though 150 LED panels is getting quite large. Weight is another big consideration here. Wall panels, anything from say 15 pounds to 30 pounds. The smaller tabletop panels here, this one is about six pounds. Uh, this one up here is, is, is a larger one at about 11 pounds. Now that's important if you plan on traveling with one of these. If you wanna get something that you can use at home, but also chuck in your suitcase, if you're going away, maybe, maybe it's for a sports event or you, know, you just like getting your red light fix, that weight consideration is gonna be a big factor. Of course, physical size as well, Good luck getting the Mito Red Mito Pro 1500 into your carry-on luggage. But something like this, you know, you could make that happen. Next up, we have price. Now, obviously, the bigger the panel, the more LEDs, the more parts in it, the more expensive it's going to be. And yes, that is correct. For a tabletop panel, you're looking at anything from, say, $250 for the Huga Health range up to about $600 for this uh, Biomax 300 here that's with a stand. Some panels are cheaper than others because you're not getting as nice features or a little bit less power. I've reviewed a heap of panels and I'm also about to do a comparison series on all these tabletop panels. So be sure to subscribe for, the, for that if you want to see, look, which one is the best value for, for money. But yeah, typically a couple hundred bucks for a tabletop panel. These wall hanging panels, you're looking around that thousand dollar mark. I've always said a good body panel under a thousand bucks is is great value, uh, but typically as cheap as maybe six hundred dollars for an older generation low powered panel, right up to two thousand dollars or even higher for some of the more expensive but not necessarily premium panels. So yeah, thousand bucks, couple hundred bucks. Price is quite a big factor here. But other than a few extra LEDs and, and a larger panel, are you getting anything else for your money? Well, turns out, yes, the power readings on these larger panels, based on my testing, have always been a lot higher than the smaller panels. I'll give you some examples here. We have the Mito Pro 1500. This puts out 136 watts of therapeutic red light. It had a peak figure of 88 milliwatts over centimeter squared. If we compare that to the Mito Pro 300, their, their tabletop version, uh, that had a peak power of 72, so it's, it's less than 88 and only 22 watts versus 136 watts. Uh, likewise with the infrared, we can compare the infrared max over here um, that had a peak power of 85 milliwatts and a total output of 103. Comparing that with their mini, peak power of 65 and a, a total wattage figure of 18. So for maybe two, three times the price, you're getting, what, four times, five times more wattage, more power, more therapeutic light, and you're also getting higher intensities as well. Meaning, if you are using it on, I don't know, that, that sore elbow, you don't have to use it for as long because you, there's more power in there, there's more energy, it's, it's brighter, uh, it's more. So that is another thing to factor into your consideration. Yes, it's a lot more expensive, but you're getting larger treatment area, you're getting more energy across the whole area, and it's, it's a shorter treatment time compared to, say, these mini devices. Now that we know a bit about the price and the power, I can actually share some value metrics as well. So if we're looking at these units from a dollar per LED point of view, uh, the infrared mini over here, the small one, you're paying eight, about $9 per LED. Compare that to the max, you're paying about three or $4 per LED. The bigger the panel, the more cost effective it is to produce and obviously to buy as a consumer. But another really good value metric is value uh, the dollar per wattage of light, how much you're spending to get one watt of therapeutic red light. Let's use the infrared range again. The large panel beside me, you're spending about $9 for one watt of light. Compare that to the mini here, you're spending $28. So what that means is you're spending a lot more money to get the same amount of energy, uh, equivalent amount of energy of light. Uh, again, the bigger the panel, the better, uh, the better the buy. And I can do some other comparisons well, as well. The uh, Mito Pro 1500, large one, about $8 per watt. Compare that to the small one, $15. So that just shows that yes, the large, if you can stretch your budget and you have the space, 
and you're not looking for a small panel that you can throw in your your um, you know suitcase and whatnot, you are actually better off getting a larger panel. Also, if you're wondering, hey, yeah, but I looked at this mini and it's got like no EMF and it's got four wavelengths and um, I don't know, offers pulsing technology, so I want that. Well, all of those features are also available in the larger uh, larger panels. Again, I said earlier how most of these companies offer you know, small panels, large panels, even battery powered panels. Typically the features in a product line are the same throughout. So I've got two Infrareddies behind me, the Infrareddy Flex has exactly the same features as the Infrareddy Mini. Pulsing, dimming ability, the same wavelengths, all that same stuff, built-in timers, remotes. It's all the same whether you get the big one or the, or, or the baby one. And typically the flagship panels, the ones with most of the features and bells and whistles are coming in the larger panels anyway. So yeah, I wouldn't use that as a, as a selling point. Um, if you're excited about pulsing or something, you'll be able to get it in the small ones and the big ones. What about sound? Well, sound is one area where the smaller panels do offer a slight advantage. They're smaller, they have less um, fans in there and they're generating less heat. So typically we're seeing quieter devices on the smaller tabletop panels than we are on the larger ones, which can sometimes have about six fans in them. If that's gonna be a problem for you, like you're using it in an office cubicle with a few other workers, yeah, then maybe the small one is going to be more attractive for you. But saying that, even the big ones, bar a few panels I've tested, are typically not too bad. It's just a background white noise sort of computer fan sound. What about warranty, controls, and ease of setup and whatnot? Again, if it's the same product line, uh, it's the same whether it's a small panel or a large one. Um, ease of use, setup, same thing again. It's got the infrared panel has exactly the same control panel uh, in the Mini as it does with the Max. Likewise, likewise with the Biomax panel, same touchscreen control panel in the 300 as it does with the 900. Same thing across the board. One final difference that I need to mention though is the modular capability. So if you've seen this before, this is where you can connect multiple devices together from, from a particular company and uh, daisy chain them all together, use one control panel and it powers all of the lights. I do this with the uh, Platinum 900, Platinum Biomax 900 where I have a quad set up. It's all synced together wirelessly, one control panel, I hit start, all four panels run, boom. And they, it all ties in nicely and looks like one giant panel, which is really, really cool. Typically, a lot of the smaller panels, the tabletop panels, if they're specifically designed for tabletop use, they won't offer this modular capability. However, it's not true across the board. Behind me, I have the Platinum LED Biomax 300 with the optional stand. That will perfectly fit in with my Biomax 900 quad setup out, out there. So it's not a hard and fast rule, but often you see some of these smaller ones, especially some of the cheaper panels, the lower cost panels, they don't offer that functionality. Now, I mention this because if, you're, if you are tight on cash or new to red light therapy and still wanna just test the waters, you may be more inclined to buy a smaller panel. Uh, and you're probably hoping that if all goes well and you come into some cash, then you upgrade and get another one. Well, a good way to future-proof that is if you were to get a panel such as the Biomax 300 here, you would know that later on you could get a Biomax 600 or a 900 and sync them all together and it all ties in into, your eco, into the one ecosystem, so, so to speak. Whereas if you're super tight on the cash and you go and get something um, like a Huga panel, I, I can't remember off the top of the head, but there are some, um, some panels out there that don't offer that modular capability. You go out, you try to save some money, you get that, and then you find out later on that, yeah, you do want to build a bit of a array here, and you find that they don't all work together. It may be like, oh, that sort of sucks. I wish I'd spent the extra 50 bucks or 100 bucks earlier on. So that is just one final thing to think of. One last thing before I wrap this up is stands. So typically the tabletop stands come with a stand. So the, the Infrared Flex here um, has this little built-in kick out stand, it's pretty basic, but hey, it does what it needs to do. Uh, the Biomax 300 I have here comes with this optional extra stand, which is actually very, very heavy. Uh, that costs $100, you can pivot it to suit. Um, so that's $100 extra. Some companies come with stands, some you gotta pay a little bit extra. When it comes to the larger panels, typically you get some door mounting hooks and some cables so you can hang it from hooks like I've done here, but that's it. If you want a stand for using it in the middle of the floor, you have to pay extra for that. Uh, if you want stands so you can mount it to the wall, you have to pay extra for that. And obviously because of the size, you're not gonna get a table 
top stand. However, with the large panels, you can also get vertical and horizontal stands. Check out my reviews below. Um, so you can use it, you know, lying on a bed and, and all that sort of stuff. So something to think of. I guess the key takeaway is how do you plan on using your red light therapy device? Do you plan on being in an office cubicle, having it shining on your, on your legs or on your face as you're working? Then yeah, maybe a tabletop option is, is all you really need. Are you new to red light therapy, keen to give it a crack, hoping that it's gonna help with that sore knee and, and skin and, and all, the, all the other good things? Then you may be more inclined to get a body panel. Um, or you may start out small, but get a tabletop panel that has the option to uh, expand. Because I should mention, even these panels, even though they come with stands, you can still hang them on the wall. I could still put the metal hooks on top of, it, on top of this Biomax 300 and hang them just as I would like the Biomax 900 for instance. I hope this video has helped you. If it hasn't, if you're still confused and thinking, ah, oh, what do I do? Leave your questions below and I'll do my best to answer it. Uh, if you do want to buy any of these panels, be sure to use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X. It will save you a little bit of cash and helps me to continue test, testing and reviewing these panels for you. Um, if you want to see deep dive reviews on any of these panels, plus an assortment of others, check out all, uh, check out all the, uh, wherever it is, all the extra videos I've done, uh, I've done tons of reviews. And like I said earlier, I, I will be doing a full comparison series on tabletops. That should be out hopefully the end of 2022 or maybe early 2023. And I have already done lots of comparison series on the body panels. All right, guys, I'm signing off there. Uh, good luck. Again, any questions, leave them below. Bye.